Good morning, everybody. Well, before we get started on our lesson today, I want to tell you about something that I just found. I came in here to do our Sunday school lesson, and you would not believe what I found all over the floor. Do you see those scraps of paper that were left all over my floor? And do you know who did that? My daughter, Harper, made a mess and left all sorts of scraps everywhere. Well, you know what I should do about this? I think I should punish Connor. Yep. I should punish Connor for something that Harper did wrong. Now, wait a minute. Does that sound kind of fair to you or not fair at all? That's right. That is not fair. I should not punish Connor for something that Harper did. Well, today, our Bible lesson is going to teach us about something that was done, what was done to Jesus that was not fair at all. But before we get started, let's remember last week what we learned. We learned that Jesus, after he had had the last supper with his disciples, went into a garden to pray. And he went with his disciples. And remember, his disciples had left him. And that Jesus had been, we learned that Jesus was patient with sinners like you and me who sin and make mistakes. And then Jesus was arrested. And today we're going to learn about what happened after Jesus was arrested. Before we do that, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you have given us your word so we can know what is true and what is right. And Lord, we thank you that you have given us your son, Jesus Christ, who died for sinners like you and like me. And so Lord, would you give us listening ears and listening hearts to hear what you want us to know, the true things you want us to know. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so after Jesus was arrested, the people, the crowd, and the people, the teachers, and the Pharisees, and the soldiers brought Jesus before Pontius Pilate, and they put Jesus on trial. Now, what is a trial? A trial is when somebody decides if somebody is guilty of doing something wrong. And they decide what their punishment will be. So they were here to decide whether or not Jesus was guilty. And if, what, if he was guilty, what his punishment would be. Well, what would Jesus be guilty of? Well, the Bible tells us that the Pharisees and the teachers of the law had been telling lies about Jesus. Now, because Jesus is God, could Jesus have said, No, I will not let them tell lies about me. I am God and I can make them stop. But did Jesus say no? Jesus said yes. Yes, I will let them tell lies about me. Well, when Jesus was on trial, they decided that Jesus was guilty. And so they decided that Jesus' punishment should be death. Because Jesus is God, could Jesus have said, No, I am not going to die. I am God and I have the power to stop you. Now, Jesus could have said no, but what did Jesus say? Jesus said, yes, I will let them punish me. Then they stripped Jesus out of his outer robe and they whipped, the soldiers whipped Jesus. I know my flannels are tiny, so you might not be able to see, but even on these flannels, Jesus has 
that shows that Jesus had marks all over his body from them whipping him. Jesus was being punished for sins he never committed. Remember, Jesus never, ever sinned. Jesus could have said, no, I am innocent. I am not guilty. You cannot whip me. But Jesus said, yes. I will let them whip me. Then the soldiers put a purple robe on him. And they made a crown out of thorns. Have you ever felt a thorn before? Ouch. They are poking and hurt like a needle. Well, they made a crown of thorns and they put it on Jesus' head and pushed the thorns down. Would that have hurt Jesus? Yes, it would have. Jesus was both God and human. Jesus would have felt that. And then the people made fun of Jesus. See, they put the crown on him and the robe on him because they were making fun of him, saying, Oh, you think you're the king? You think you're the king of the Jews? All hail, king of the Jews. They mocked him and made fun of him. Could Jesus have said, No, stop. I am the king of kings and lord of lords. I am the king. But did Jesus say no and make them stop? Jesus said, yes, I will let them mock me and make fun of me. Then the soldiers even spit on Jesus' face and they hit him over and over again. Do you think Jesus could have said, no, I will not let you keep doing this. I am the son of God. But Jesus said, yes, I will let them mock me, hurt me, and spit on me. Jesus said, yes. Finally, they took Jesus outside of the city and they nailed him to a cross. They put nails in his hands and nails through his feet. Do you think just like when they whipped him, it would have hurt Jesus? Yes, Jesus bled a lot. He bled and hurt. Jesus could have said no. In fact, the people continued to mock him and make fun of him. They said, if you think you're the son of God, if you're really God, then why don't you come down from the cross? If you're powerful God, come down and show us that you're God. But you know what? Did Jesus say, yes, I will come down? No, Jesus said, no, I'm going to stay on the cross. Jesus said yes to the cross and let the people mock him and make fun of him. The Bible tells us that right before Jesus' final breath, right before he died, he said something. Do you know what he said? He said, yes, it is finished. Jesus had come and said yes to the cross. He said yes to the cross because he had come to save sinners like you and like me. I am so glad that Jesus said yes to the cross to save a sinner like me. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, you are God. You could have said no. You did not have to die on the cross. But you said yes to the cross for all of us because we are sinners. You came and were punished for our sins. It was not fair, but 
you are a kind God who dies for sinners and said, yes, it is finished. And we thank you. Amen. I'll see you next week. Bye.